right, we're ready to crack on. So this is uh, Loch Lubnig. We just uh, pulled in just so I can let the dogs off and have a bit run about. Stunning spot, managed to get parked right next to this. Um, and there's some big waste bins. Bracken, Bracken, come here. Some big waste bins so we can get rid of our rubbish that we have. Bracken. So, gonna let the dogs have a bit wander and plodge about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Enjoying that, Bracken? Is how lucky? How lucky going in for a paddle? <laughs> there you are, darling. Come here, she's alright, she's alright. Come here. Bracken, can I get caught up with her? That's it. Uh. Is that nice, Lucky? Hey, is that nice? Yeah. Oh, that's it. Take your time. Come on this way, Lucky. Oh, hang on. This way, come on. And he's in again. And she's in again. <laughs> come on this way, Donald. Come on. This way, that's a good girl. It's a good girl. Yeah. Hey. Careful, you're going back in the water, mind. Are you going back in? Whoop, are you going back in? No. <laughs> so we threw a stick in for Bracken and it's out of his depth and he's still not sure whether he can swim yet so he's, he's taking his time. Off again. He's still unsure what he's trying to go out for that stick. But he can't swim yet. <laughs> he's getting hung of it.
Come on then. What a good boy. You've been trying to swim. Hey, you've been trying to swim. Off he comes again. <laughs> Right, so we've arrived at Killen. Currently sitting outside of a pub called the Falls of Dockhart. Um, and we have all the falls across the road. But first of all, we're just getting stuck into a little scone and a little cup of coffee. And then we'll head across the road and show you the falls. Bracken is determined to get <laughs> some of this. He's waiting for crumbs to drop. So this is the Falls of Dockhart. Risking life and limb here, standing on the bridge, waiting for traffic to pass. It's quite a popular spot, going from the people that's here. There's quite a few people further along on the bridge, taking photographs. There's quite a few people you can't really see behind that tree. They're getting photos. But it's a lovely spot. Some of them picnicking on the rocks. We're not going to head down now. The terrain's a little bit rough. We'll end up uh, arse over tit, I think, if we went that way. So I'm going to Head back to the van that's just parked up there and head further along towards Glencoe. So that was nice. Incredible. Amazing. 
a little waterfall just falling into the deep pool. I'm going to paint that. It was incredible. Night. It was. It was beautiful. So... If we didn't have the dogs, we probably would have stayed there for the night. Yeah. But it wasn't safe for the dogs. Not the best part of for us. No. Um, so, we're moving on. Yeah, we're just plugging on a bit further. So, we've got our pop up for the night. So, nice, nice bobbling brook. Duff blind dog barking for now. We'll show us that we're just getting out of the van. Van's there. Yeah. Absolutely stunning. Mountains up there. So, it all pop up. Absolutely fantastic spot. It is the weather is red hot at the minute as well. Um, so just to sort of show you where we're at. So we go at the back. Quite nice. These are just sticks from the Jeep, which is working. My citron oil. Let's just flick you around a second so we can have a look. So we've got a couple of citron oil just sticks burning. They just keep the the midges away. They the work a treat. Yeah. Oh, that brace is nice. <laughs> oh, got a good part of it, Alison. Oh, it's fantastic. Perfect. Yeah. So we've got our oh, lucky chilling at the bottom there. I think she's asleep, can't tell without asleep. the eyes. She hasn't moved her eyebrows. And we've got our Daisy, <laughs> kind of keep her eyes open. Got our little lily bop. Knackered. <laughs> Absolutely knackered. And then, whoops, swing her right round. He is absolutely done into the... Off being in the river. Yeah, so he's thoroughly enjoyed being in the lock. So, anyway, it's tea time. So what's on the menu tonight, fella? It is a uh, one pound wonder. <laughs> so, what we're actually going to have is stir fried chicken and vegetables with noodles and potentially a hoisin sauce on the top. Ooh. So my plan is I'm going to boil the kettle so I've got some boiling water, leave these in the pan, just cook them through, then I'm going to drop these into a bowl, cook off the chicken in the same pan because we've only got one pan, so cook off the chicken and then once the chicken's done, chuck these back in, chuck the noodles back in, and probably have to stand on the pan to get it shut. Uh, so, we'll see where we'll get with that eh? So, first things first, we'll get all bits and pieces sorted, which is put them in there, boil the kettle, that started, and come back to you in a few minutes. Jump in, kettle's boiled, let's get our beauty off. Bit of boiling water in there, part of the one pan wonder. So I've now got the veg on. Leave that on there for about 15 minutes, I think. In the meantime, I'll crack on with the chicken. That's sorted. Big chicken breast seeds, like. Mm -hmm. Nice right. chicken prepped. Steaming and boiling away nicely there. Lovely. Are we already still settled? Just got his eye on the chicken. Keep your eyes off me chicken. Keep them eyes off me chicken. <laughs> These two are still flat out. Might oh, just listening to the string. Beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, and it flows across there by the mountain and obviously turns into the river. Beautiful. Yeah. So, veg looks as though it's done. So the plan is, want the water in the sink and save that boiling water. Oh, 
I want the veg in the wall. It's going to be a tusk. That's now. Do the chicken on the front. That the front line of these here. We've just got the chicken in there, Coogan. Just want to stir fry that up. Add the noodles. Add the veg, and add some sauce. And then we should be good to go. Right, chicken's cooking perfect. In with the noodles. My God, how we're going to get this lid shut? I'm going to need a bigger pan. Put the, no the lid on for the noodles. Hopefully that will warm them through a bit easier. So, veg on the top. Go in there. Spread that down. Leave that on for a moment. And then hoisin sauce. Another one pan wonder. We always wonder how we get it in, but we've gotten the lot in. So I'll get the plates out ready for serving up. Plate this up. Try and get a bit of a mixture of each. So, I got pet. Oh, here. Looks delish. Mm. It's hot. Mm. Nice. Mm -hmm. They just cook lovely. Get stuck into this. To try that. Good in now. Well, good morning everybody and welcome to what is day three. Absolute fantastic sleep last night. Um, we were absolutely both really knackered yesterday. So me and Alison and the dogs were in bed by about eight o'clock last night. 
And we woke up at 8 o'clock this morning, so we had a good 12 hours. Um, really peaceful night. Uh, we just had one camper van pull in um, just across the other side of the, the parking lot. Um, but incredible place. I got the drone up yesterday. Um, obviously, we had this all night. The sound of the, the water falling. Absolutely stunning. The views is just incredible to wake up to. Sound of the birds. The sun shining, it looks like another glorious day. And things just getting a bit better. So we have poached eggs on sun dried sour bread with avocado and black pepper. So I'm going to tuck into this little feast and we'll catch this a little bit later.